that's that side of the hair. I think it's also important that we take a look at something like where the hair swoops and is pulled into this bow. So that it kind of collects up into that area. So I'm gonna move up to that space as well. Okay. So we go from a space, so I've got B down already, and I'm gonna use 2B. We go from a space that's pulled down into her bangs vertically to um, the part that's gathered up into the bow. And so I'm gonna work in that area first. So you can see I'm making my pencil marks in the direction that I want the hair to go. And I'm holding my pencil so I can comfortably do that. I'm not gonna work on the bow in this demonstration because it's basically a black shape, okay? Um, and so eventually I would come in and shade that bow, but I think it's more crucial right now that I build up this this area here that gathers into the bow. I want my pencil lines to follow the flow of the hair. Okay. And then this hair now comes down into the bangs. I'm actually gonna start down here in the bangs and pull up. Now the hair's really light in this area, so that's okay. Remember, I've got my needable erasers Got to build up some, some hair value here. I want it to look like a physical object that's hanging down over the face. You might find that the hair gets a little darker in your drawing than it really is in real life. And that's okay. Sharpen this. But I, you know, I don't want to make Kate into a brunette, even though. I may end up making your hair a little darker. Okay, we'll do just a little more here. Just working with 2B. Now I'm using the point of the pencil, trying to define this edge of the hair so that it feels more like individual hairs. Now I'm gonna switch over to the 4B, get this sharp again. The hair is darkest where the roots of the hair are showing. Okay, so this pulls down into the bangs. There we go. It's okay to go a little too dark at first because we know our process at this point. We are going to end up erasing into this. Again, I'm going to now focus on the point of the pencil a little more so I can create a harder, more defined edge. Okay, I'm going to come up here into the swoop of hair, build up some of these shadows. All right, now let's take that needable eraser and I'm gonna work on this highlight here. A little bit of a highlight here. There is no magic in this process, okay? This is all about observation and pushing and pulling the pencil. Pushing the pencil meaning I'm adding graphite to the paper and then pulling, reducing, removing things from the paper. And then I might have to come back, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to come back here and use my 4B again to darken some values or restate, redraw some of the texture. Okay, that's looking pretty Good, I've got this nice shiny highlight. I've got the highlights and values here in the hair where it pulls together. Now I'm gonna come back with my 4B and build up some of these textures again as lines. So we can see that this is hair. It's not a, it's not just a wig or a helmet. 
its individual hairs. I guess a wig is individual hairs too. It's not just a physical, like, solid shape. Okay, so our two big words are texture and direction. Texture and direction. And that's what I'm trying to build up here in Kate's hair. I think that's coming along pretty nicely. I would continue to work on the bangs a little bit to get that evened out, work in this area up here to smooth it, and then I would start to move over to the right side. 